Hello, guys. Welcome back. Today we're going to unbox Suhiro GC3 180 grade rough stone, and you're looking at it. It's a soaking stone, and first time soaking is always longer than usual. And I'm lucky to get two Fujiwara knives、uh, to test the stone. The core steel is blue super steel, and the heat treat is、uh, 67 Rockwell, which is very hard steel. Uh, because of the noisy working on the rough stone, I will、uh, explain everything later.
and these two Fujiwara knives really don't cut anything. To rebuild the cutting edge, to work on the rough stone like 180 grit makes sharpening work much much easier. And you guys may probably count it earlier. And it was just like 30 strokes on each side of the blade. And I even didn't put too much pressure on the blade, just the width of my hand. And then I checked the whole cutting edge and uh, felt the burr to the other side already. And that's the signal um, that tells you you could work on the other side. And then I move on to uh, the medium stone 800 grit. And either 800 or 1000 both works. And I just copy the same process when I work on a rough stone. The same 30 strokes on each side of the blade. The same number of strokes on 800 stone is fine because the grinding power of 800 grit stone is not as great as 180 grit stone. It wouldn't remove too much steel out of the blade because the grinding power and uh, it just makes the uh, newly created cutting edge much finer. And you guys may notice that I'm turning the angle just to make sure I have the tip sharpened. And I'm turning the angle when I'm sharpening the heel for the same reason. It is very important to check the whole cutting edge. Once you find somewhere on the cutting edge which is not fully sharpened, you might want to go back on a stone and sharpen it again. And otherwise you won't get the clear cutting edge. Now I'm ready to move on to another stone, which I'm gonna do the unboxing now. And this is Suhiro Exclusive Combined Stone. It has one size 3000 grit 
and the other side, 800 grit. And again, it's a soaking stone as well. You have to soak it into water for like uh, 15 to 20 minutes before you do the sharpening. But again, the first time soaking takes longer than usual. Remove the plastic and uh, put it into the water. From the bubble, you know it's a soaking stone for sure. Time's up for soaking and uh, Let's get ready to work. So it's the uh, uh, same process again, uh, 30 strokes on each side of the blade because uh, less grinding power on 3000 grit than 800 grit and making the cutting edge finer, smoother and much shiny. And it is not difficult to tell uh, from the sound. Actually, the stone is very smooth. And you could still feel the burr, but you have to feel it very carefully. The same here, uh, turning the angle, make sure the tip is sharpened. And my hand is moving on the blade to make sure uh, to give the proper pressure on the cutting edge where I'm sharpening. And I'm turning the angle again for the tip. And turning the angle again for the heel. It's always like one hand is holding the handle and the other hand is moving on the blade. Please try to avoid this, uh, one hand holding the handle and the other hand is holding the tip all the time. So one hand is always moving. When your stone is stuck with black powders and you couldn't clean it by water, you have to use a flattened stone to, to clean it. Otherwise you lose the grinding power of the stone. And 
you would probably have the feeling that your knife is very slippery on the stone. So once this happens, just clean it up. And when I work on this side of the blade, I also need to turn the angle when I sharpen the heel. And turn the an angle again when I sharpen the tip. Uh, see the stone like this, you can still clean the black powder by water. It is fine. You can just continue to uh, work on it. <clears throat> And one more thing when sharpening the tip, uh, you not only need to turn the angle, but your hand, which is holding the handle, it has to lift it up a little bit to make sure you can sharpen the whole tip.
and turn, lift it up just a little bit, not too much. Working on the 8000 grid, I use the same process again, 30 strokes. And 8000 grid can give the cutting edge a mirror finish. It makes the cutting edge very beautiful.
Sharp network is almost done. And next, we need to run a test on a piece of paper. And this time, not only paper test, but also we do a hair test. See here, and here the other way around. We use a hair walking on the cutting edge. It is cut it. Hey guys, thank you for watching, and see you next time.